Hello everybody. So we're going to be looking into the parents of the year. Harry and Meghan. Harry is apparently off in South Africa. He was in Lesotho and now he's visiting friends in Cape Town. Megzi last night was at the LA Children's Hospital in her monstrosity of a red dress. Yes, it got a rewear. Lord knows why, but it got a rewear. Anyway. So she was at, well, at least it just looked like the red carpet. Don't know if she stayed for food, if she just kind of like wandered on in and just said hi and then bye. But we're going to have a look and see how these two are living separate lives. A bit of an energy check in on their relationship, if you will. Now, the card said towards the end of 2024, and this is back in 2023, towards the end of 2024, Harry and Megzi are going to be increasingly separate. So we did expect that on this channel. 2025 could be the year for la divorce, or however you say it in French. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just keep going. We're gonna keep going. Um starting with preparation H. Preparation H is of course a Virgo. So he would come out in the cards as King of Cups, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles are the Hermit card. Megzi is a Leo. And despite popular opinions, she won't come out as Devil card, but she does come out as either the Strength card or the Queen of Wands. So, but the Devil just turn up quite a bit. I'm just saying, for somebody who's meant to be unproblematic if you believe her PR, which nobody does, the devil card doesn't have to turn up quite a lot for this lady, let's be real. More so than anyone else that we ever read on. I mean, good Lord. Okay, so we're going to start with Harry. How is Harry enjoying his alone time? What is currently going on in the relationship, Sans and Markel? Harry the Markle, what is going on? Let us see if we can find the brain cell for Harry. What are you up to, Harry? That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. That doesn't, that does. What are you up to, Harry? He doesn't want to come home. <laughs> We've got the Six of Swords in reverse. I mean home, I mean Monty shit show, I mean California, I mean Olive Garden Mansion. He doesn't want to travel. Now, if he's still in South Africa, then that could well be reminiscent that he doesn't want to travel back to South Africa. I'm recording this at 10 past six on Sunday, the 6th of October. So depending, because this can be very like real time. So depending if he's flying in now or if he's on a plane, he really doesn't want to make that journey. What's crossing over him? Oh, we had this in the last screen I've done. Don't you know I'm a prince? I've inherited everything from my family. Don't doesn't people realize that I am indeed actually a prince? This could also be questions around mortality, questions about inheritance, questions about his social inheritance as well, and how he feels obstacrate, obstic, obstic, disenfranchised is the word I would, what, would use when I can't think of the long word or can't pronounce the long word. Seven of Wands is in reverse. He's ready to go on the attack um, and saying he's on the defensive. And the Five of Wands is underneath as well, in reverse. There is a lot going on with these two right at this minute. That Five of Wands, when it is in reverse like that, there's a lot of bluster. There's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of puff pieces that are being set out potentially by either or both of them. Um, he's blaming a lot of drama and nonsense with the Five of Wands in reverse. 
that seven of wands in reverse it seems to me like he wants to wag his finger and tell people off and he wants to go on the defensive about something straight away but right what he feels like the center of this is he doesn't want to travel he doesn't want to go on a journey somewhere the tower is in reverse Harry had a bad week. As predicted, there was going to be more stuff that came out about the Harkles Enterprises. And there was more stuff that's come out about Harry and Meghan's not paying taxes or something. There's four million short somewhere. Survival International, who is a charity that works for... Um, like, more indigenous places um, around the world, they actually did a scathing report on Harry and his African parks debacle as well. So I feel like that would wound him because I do feel like Harry is a narcissist and I've been saying that since 2019. I do feel like Harry is a narcissist. He might be a very, like, he might be up the pole level narcissist that Megzi is, but he he is he is an enti entitled kind of weak kind of version of it. Um, so he's very much just thinking of himself. What's coming up? Page of Wands always going to get angry. He's in reverse. Queen of Swords is in reverse. Ace of Swords is in reverse. Um. That page of wands in reverse. We could be seeing some frustration. There's a lot of wands. There's a lot of ego going on here. We could be seeing some frustration, some lashing out through statements by third parties, statements in the press. It won't necessarily come from him, but it'll be definitely from him, like that splurge of anger. Ahmed Scabies has been quite quiet of late. You haven't seen his little plastic head pop up over the parapet. And the weird photographer guy has been quite quiet. So there is, there is, there is an anger and a frustration coming out here. The Queen of Swords is in reverse as well. Now this could be an air sign woman. We're talking Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but this could also very much well be some a, a lady who is involved in Harry's life, who is a strategist, who is a somebody who looks at the finer details who looks at judgments, it could be somebody who is legally minded, who is around him and is advising him to some extent. Whatever she's advising him isn't going to go well for him. This isn't going to go well for him. You've got the Ace of Swords there, it's in reverse. There is some type of legal dispute, some type of legal thing that he is getting involved with. Now, this could be leading up to potentially a separation from Megatron. She's not in the cards. I'm just going to say it right now. She's not in the cards at all here. He's thinking very much of himself and he's, it's very, he's very insular with it, but he wants to go on the attack and rebuff people. But that is standard Harry. He, Harry has been like that. If you read some of the stuff and some of his grievances that he's had over the years he's been like that since since the unfortunate um outfit at a party basically okay he is very much about himself very much about himself he is going to have issues when it comes to His Majesty King Charles III. He is going to have issues with His Majesty coming up as well. We have the Emperor in reverse. Um, don't forget that Harry is actually suing His Majesty's government for IPP, which will be very embarrassing for, his, for the king. 
I can only imagine it's because it will colour how the king can feel confidently because he's head of the judiciary, he's head of the police, he's head of the uniformed services, he's head of the intelligence services, he's head of everything, you know? He's the head of state. It's going to be awkward for him. Um, because he can't get involved because that would bring disruption and disputes to the monarchy. So his darling boy can't just get away with absolutely everything. And the king knows that. So the king is going to come. I wonder, you know, with these cards, I feel I always felt like Megsy was just like, she wanted him to get IPP back. She wanted him to get IPP back. I wonder if she's just had enough, right? And she's kind of said, you go and do your court cases and we'll reconvene. Reconvene, actually never reconvene once you've got your, once you've got your, your court cases settled, so your IPP settled. Because that would work out for her, wouldn't it? And I've always had that impression. I've had that impression for a long time. She's just there because she wants she wants that IPP status because by default, the children will get it. The children, the cab Cabbage Patch dolls will also be eligible for it. And if the recollections may vary how many they are or if they exist or whatever, if the children have it, the children in bird commas, if the children have it, then she will automatically get security if she gets custody, which she will because she's got Doria and they will say everything to keep Harry this, Harry this. The divorce will be wild when it eventually happens. It'll make Amber Heard and Johnny Depp look wholesome. Oh, sorry, I've went off track there. Yeah, so there's a force of a hand there as well. Let me have a look and see where <clears throat> Megsy is. She was on the red carpet. Nothing about Megsy in this. Nothing about Megsy in this. I think she, I think 2025 is going to be the year. I think this is how it's panning out right now. Prince of Pentacles is in reverse. She doesn't like him. She thinks he's ungenerous. She thinks he's unstable. That Prince of Pentacles relates to the Knight of Pentacles in the traditional tarot. She is not only making out that he is some kind of man child, but he's also volatile and he's not grounded. So that is the impression she's like to give, give of him to her friends and her associates. The Six of Pentacles crossing over. You'll notice that this card says charity. This is whole give and take thing. She is somehow twisted this whole logic into like she has sacrificed her image to give him a life and he hasn't reciprocated in a way that is suitable for her. Now, I'm not agreeing with this. I'm just telling you what messages I'm getting, what messages the, the cards are giving me as well. So she's like saying, no, you have to give something back to me. I have given you two Cabbage Patch Dolls. I have given you Olive Garden Mansion. I have given you loss of, <laughs> loss of reputation. But what have you given me <laughs> apart from fame? Ah, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. A page of swords is above. Oh, she wants to cause some drama. I think we'll find out where all the leaks are coming from. There is a lot of leaks coming from um, Monty Shit Show. And there's the Empress underneath. What did she say? And I, that's another thing I predicted. It was Megan is a mom. Megan's mother instinct. I mean, the Daily Mail that today. I just like, I saw that headline and I, I'm not even sharing it to the community page because people will be like ill and it's Sunday. 
you know, I mean, women, it's the Lord's day of rest. I don't want to make people ill on a Sunday. The Empress is underneath. The Empress is underneath. She wants the whole, I am transience, mother, mother earth. I am Gaia. I am beyond Diana. I am not just Diana. I am also like Diana, but I'm better than Catherine too. I am mother earth. I am the most wholesome person, but also the most quirky and kooky and cool. And I am the best at everything, that kind of vibe. So I do believe that. <laughs> winding myself back in i do believe that doris is involved in this somewhat as well so this is kind of strategy going on here now doris is a virgo as well funnily enough no shade to virgos harry's a virgo doris is a virgo tyler perry is a virgo beyonce is a virgo i mean you know it's, it's just it, it's not giving america's best to be honest sorry i know harry's not american but I see him as kind of your problem right now. <laughs> I'm too quick to wash my hands, I know. What's leaving the situation? Okay, this is an excellent way to get away from. How convenient. This is an excellent way to get away from that three of pentacles. Oh, how Harry has went off and run away. And she's also using this story to get herself in the press because of all of those three of pentacles in reverse that three of pentacles in reverse doesn't work well with others doesn't work well with others isn't the business genius mogul that she thinks she is she <laughs> she registered a brand on announced a brand without even registering the logo or registering the copyright name Three of Pentacles in reverse, girl. She's crazy. Ace of Wands. Okay, there's going to be a <laughs> there's going to be a reset, guys. Get ready. Just no, don't complain when it happens. There's the red dress, the red dress of power. <laughs> don't complain when it happens. It's coming. She's going to try and do this kind of look at me. I'm restarting. I'm passionate and committed and driven and wholesome and. It's kind of like she wants to be kind of like uber business mom. What's on her mind? The strength card in reverse is Leo in reverse. So she's still not happy that her image isn't where she wants to be. And what is surrounding her is the moon. She doesn't see, right, that Harry's... paranoid behavior that i picked up in another reading is caused by her they don't realize the effect that they have on each other as well as the effect they, they just they they just do not work together like salt and pepper it's more like i don't know it's more like jello and mustard to be honest, it's it's just not a combination that anybody in their right mind would go with. I'm going to have someone in the comments going, actually, I love Jello and Mustard. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's just not my normal, okay? It's just not one of those things. Um, that strength card in reverse, she's annoyed that people don't view her as strong, independent, sassy, all-round, wonderful. She wants this whole thing. She wants to be, she wants to be everyone's mother, yet at the same time, all the men fancy her. And yet at the same time, all of the girls want to be her best friend. That She wants that vibe, right? Life doesn't work like that. <laughs> I'm just really sorry. It really doesn't. Um, not even for Taylor Swift. You're always going to have your detractors. Someone's always going to come and try to find your day because that's what people do. That's They might be having a bad day, see somebody's having a good day, and be like, nah, -uh. not happening on my shift. You're not enjoying yourself on my shift. But that moon there, they are mad together. She doesn't understand why all of her grifting antics, her puff pieces, her curated image that she tries to curate, that she curated on Instagram that nobody paid attention to. She doesn't understand why that doesn't work across 
social media where she's got a bigger audience and people who are just not watching Suits at 4 a.m. on some daft channel. You know, it. she doesn't understand why it hasn't just went across like it's done. Um, she doesn't understand that people can see through manipulations. With that moon there, though, I do feel like there's more stuff that is going to come out about them both, particularly Megan. And we're not just talking about horrible bosses here. We're talking about other stuff as well. Because that moon is shady. So a lot of the stuff that are in people's subconscious, now I'm not talking about the more way out there spirit, um, conspiracy theories. Stuff that she would find embarrassing is basically, anything that goes against her narrative her narrative is wholesome her na narrative is she can do no wrong her narrative is she's diana 2.0 she's just one of the girls so down to earth yet so classy she she wants all of those things so there is some hostilities that have gone on there and i feel like those will be revealed with the moon surrounding her and she's at least she is or could well be aware of that However, both of them are in a madness of their own. She thinks she's controlling him and sending him away for IPP and putting the relationship in the chiller just until, just until, just until, kicking it into the long grass all the time. And I do feel like Harry isn't happy either. But he has got that pressure of, well, my father's marriage failed. I don't want to be like my dad, even though that's completely different. I mean, okay, what she's hopeful for. We've got the Queen of Swords there. And we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what she's wanting is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords could be um interesting enough the queen of swords is in reverse there so that queen of swords energy is either the same person here and that person is feeding harry a load of gibberish and she's hoping it comes right for them so like i said this could be aquarius libra or indeed gemini look at the people around them who have got those air sign traits Who's around them? Those air sign traits. Well, off the top of my head, you've got Ellen. You've got um, Serena. Ellen and Oprah are both Aquarians. Serena is a Libra. Um, I know Gavin, News Gavin Newsom's... Blah, 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 blah. He's a man, so that doesn't count. But he he's, a, he's also a Libra. I'm just trying to think of female air signs. You've got Beyonce's mom is an Aquarius. Um, and apparently she's friends with Doris. I'm sure there was somebody else. Jill Biden's a Gemini, but I think she's got bigger things on her hands than... Actually, she was at the... I'm trying to deduce who this was. Jill Biden, maybe. I don't know. She's hopeful for it, but there's somebody stirring stuff up around Harry and she's doing it for, for them. That nine of wands there is coming at this time, the same time around the time when the emperor is in reverse for Harry. So they're about to overstep some boundaries when it comes to the royals and when it comes to the monarchy. They want to kind of go on the attack a bit they're only good together and they only work together when harry and megan have a common enemy and megsy wants to court the press at the moment because she's realized her image has gone boobs up harry wants to destroy the press so that's not a common enemy Harry wants 
well, Harry wants his image to be reconciled with the royal family, so he, he can't go head first or bald patch first into, I hate my dad, nobody loves me, blah, blah, blah. But Megzi would like, so they don't even have a similar common enemy anymore. They've tried to with the people online, but they only work together when they have a common enemy and then they turn on each other. And I would suggest that unless they get somebody to mutually dislike about something, then like all toxic relationships, it's going to go fast, real fast. Um, And they can't go after William anymore. They'll try. There'll be some failed attempts. But William doesn't react. He doesn't care. He doesn't give them any weight. Hmm. But I do see for them to rejoin about something here with that Nine of Wands and the Emperor in reverse. I do see them being offended or harry being offended by the monarchy and megs is like oh my god this is too much i can't believe they went over my boundaries interesting there we go that is what i see in the cards if you have any other insights anything else you want to say about this reading anything that you would like to expand on that i've said or add to please let me know in the comments i'm always here to hear it Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for waiting around for me to come back. And I will be back next week with more readings and some live streams because I've missed you guys. And it's been nice to actually catch you on a live as well. So take care of yourselves and I will see you later. Bye, everyone.